Hello. So when solving quadratic equations, using the quadratic formula is one way to do it, but a lot of students find it to be really cumbersome and a lot of calculations. So I have an excellent hack, which is called completing the square, and it lets you avoid using the quadratic formula. Let me show you how it works. You want to create a two by two array and then a little box outside it. That'll look like this. And here's our goal. We're going to imagine that the two doesn't exist. And we're going to say, if this were the start of our quadratic, what perfect square would we use? What thing times itself? And here's how we answer that question. This upper box we know is going to contain that x squared. And the two things that we'll multiply to it will be an x and an x. Now, these next two boxes will be completed by putting the same thing here and here. And when we multiply them and then add them, that'll make our negative 20. The way we find out what goes here and here is we just take negative 20 and divide it in half. Negative 20 and half is negative 10. All right, that is our perfect square. X minus 10 times X minus 10. That's something times itself. When we finish filling in our array, X times minus 10, negative 10 X. And again, negative 10 times X. And when we add those together, negative 10 X and negative 10 X, that's our negative 20 X. So our last step is finish our array box, negative 10 times negative 10. That's positive 100. But we've now changed our equation right? We started with x squared minus 20x plus 2. When we completed the square, we ended up with x squared minus 20x plus 100. We use this to get back to 2. So how do we turn 100 into 2? That's right. We subtract 98 from it. And now we put the whole thing back together in its new form. So x minus 10 times x minus 10 x minus 10 squared minus 98 equals zero. And now we continue to solve. So to continue to solve, I add 98 to both sides. Now I need to undo a square. And to do that, I square root. And I remember that when I square root, I create a plus or a minus. Now I need to simplify root 98. If you don't remember how to simplify square roots, take a look at this video here. Otherwise, let's go ahead and do that on the side by making our factor tree. So I see that 98 factors into 2 times 7 times 7. And I remember that 2 under the square root equals 1 outside of the square root. And then my final step is I need to get rid of this negative 10 by adding 10 to both sides. And so my two answers are 10 plus 7 root 2 and 10 minus 7 root 2. I use this technique of completing the square in order to avoid having to pop something into the quadratic formula. All right, take a look at some of these other videos. These have some more examples of completing the square. Um, feel free to check out the quadratic formula uh, video and how to use that, the X method, the box method. There are lots of ways to factor and then solve quadratics. Consider subscribing to my channel so you know when I put out a new video. And as always, Keep on mapping.